Steve Gamash here with another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review, and this is uh, also kind of an educational video as well. Mark wanted me to deliver a few points to you about the sias. So these are the newer generation Chef Knives to Go uh, plain sias, and these are made by Isaiah Schrader, his uh, kind of woodworker that does a lot of his stuff. And so Isaiah's got his new logo on there. It looks really nice. These are just plain, I believe, poplar. So they're not sealed. So one of the things Mark wanted me to tell you was if you want to have these uh, set up so they don't get stains and food and such on them, go ahead and seal them with something. You can use like the Chef Knives to Go board butter, which is a combination of mineral oil and beeswax, or you can just use plain mineral oil or any kind of board coat, uh, you know, board treatment that you already have for your cutting boards, or you can use tongue oil or varnish or any kind of thing you want to use on them to seal them up. That'll probably help darken the wood a little bit. You could stain them if you wanted to as well and then seal them up, but at least that way they'll stay clean. Uh, so point one. Point number two is uh, these sias, if you don't know what they are, they're just basically wooden sheaths that you insert the knife blade into and they help protect the blade during transit and for storage. And um, they do have a pin that comes with them, and uh, you drill a hole where you want the pin to be so the knife doesn't flop around too much. And uh, so the pin would be approximately in a spot near the back of the heel or the choil of the blade. Um, Mark prefers, if possible, that you order um, a saya with a knife at the same time, and then they can uh, have both on hand, and they can test fit the actual two together and then they can also drill the hole for you for the pin. So this will include the pin and the pre-drilled hole in the right location. The second best thing to do if you already have a knife is to at least let Chef Knives to Go know what your knife is and then they can try a test fit if they have a knife on hand and uh, again drill the pin and get you set up. The um, third thing would be of course if you don't have a knife that they have on hand or a different brand they don't carry or something like that, they'll just have to send it to you. They will normally try to drill the pin uh, and provide that, uh, or drill the hole for the pin and provide that pin with, you know, the side pre-drilled. If you want to drill your own hole based on a knife you've got, uh, go ahead and let them know that in the notes so that uh, they don't do that. And then they'll include the pin and you can drill your own hole for it in the in location you prefer. Most people set the knife on the side of where it's going to be inserted up to that point, and then they can mark that the appropriate location for a hole. The um, third thing you wanted me to show you is these do have a, this is a 240 knife I've got here, but they do have a taper to the inside hollow. And so the thick part is where the spine of the knife goes, and the thin part is where the edge goes. So you check the hole taper and so in this particular case spine of the knife goes up top and edge goes on bottom. Another easy way on these particular sias, uh, Isaiah's got his mark on there so his logo just line the handle up with the logo and then the bottom part curves around the handle. That's a typical method for these uh, styles. So um, match up the handle with the hole you're good to go. If you put the knife in and you start forcing in it really doesn't want to go back off because if you Insert it too forcefully, you could spread this open and crack the saya. doesn't happen too often, but it can happen. Uh, the 240 is an example. The A series sayas are example for thinner knives that are not oversized necessarily in length or height. And Mark's got a list on the site of various knives that fit these different A and B models. So here's a 240A for 240 Gutos. Here's a 240B, and you'll see the B is quite a bit bigger for the opening for oversized or hand hammered knives with thicker spines especially up towards the handle coming out of the handle they're a little bit oversized for a little uh, longer length and also more height so for oversized knives so they will fit a lot of those hand hammered knives here's an example of a Kanahide 240 Guto and so that fits in the A model just perfectly an example of the 240B would be my uh, Kurosaki uh, Migaki, a hand-hammered VG10 knife. So this is a 240 Gito as well, and it's thicker coming out of the handle, and it's also a little longer and taller, so that still gives me plenty of room, but that's a good example of a 240 fit in the B model. Um, 
210, I've got some different options here. Same thing. 210, you've got the A's and the B's. Um, you've got A models and B models. This is a, a Goko uh, Nishiji 210. And it's one of those hand hammer knives, so it's a little thicker coming out of the handle. And so here's the B model. A little less obvious on the taper, but again, look for the logo. Match up the handle to the logo. Put it in. Good to go. So, to recap... Seal up the Saya with uh, some kind of sealant of your choice if you want it to maintain it so it's stain free, um, doesn't pick up food and such. Second thing is try to order your Saya at the same time that you order uh, the knife so they can test fit them, drill the hole for you, and provide the pin. Uh, third thing would be when you insert the knife, always use the spine towards the thicker part and the edge towards the thinner part on the taper. Uh, again, match the handle up to the logo on these particular ones, and you'll have it. So, these are the new generation Chef Knives to Go basic size.